Princeton has been around for well over like 200, almost 300 years. And for the first time in their 274 year history, they've got a black valedictorian. Take a Princeton look. Princeton naming its first black valedictorian in the school's more than 270 year history. Nicholas Johnson is a Canadian student majoring in operations research and financial engineering. He called the honor empowering, saying he hopes to inspire young black students to pursue careers in STEM fields. Johnson plans to begin studying for his PhD at MIT this fall. Larry, for those that don't understand why we as african american are constantly having to uplift when we do things of excellence give the people a reason my anglos out there that don't really understand explain to them why when we hear these type of stories of this gentleman what he's done why we have to uplift these stories to the masses yeah because it's so important it's so important for folks to understand for you know people often say that it's so that you have to you have to put it out there so the young people can know that it's possible for them which is true you do need to we do need to put that out there so the young people can understand that it's possible for them but we also need to put it out there so that the older people can recognize that it is possible for the younger people because so many times you hear about people thinking that that places like princeton and Harvard and Yale are too big that it's not possible to get there or, or the likelihood is so is so minute that that you shouldn't bother you should you should look for something smaller and that's not the case you should reach for as high and as big as you possibly can and mm -hmm. let's say you reach for Princeton and you don't get it and you have to settle for Cornell or Brown guess what you're going to freaking Cornell or Brown I mean so you, you should always you should always reach for what you want and I think that's fantastic my wife is a Princeton Tiger you know she went there for undergrad so I'm I'm really excited to hear that they finally have a black Valley Victorian I think that's that's really incredible it's it's a shame it took so long but you know these old institutions are really really set in their ways I mean you're still talking about places that have eating clubs and and you know, they didn't even have, I mean, my, when my wife went there, you know, there hadn't been black students for a very long time. There was, there, I mean, there hadn't been black students for a long time at all, but you know, before they let black students in, they didn't even let women in. So there was, you know, Princeton was an all white, all male school for a long time for, you know, 150 plus years. And then they started to let other people in. So to finally get a black valid Victorian is really something special for, and for me, I never paid attention to the valedictorian or the person that comes second to salutatory. I never paid attention to either one of them until I got with my wife. She was the valedictorian for her high school. Anytime I saw these terms, I've only saw Anglo-Saxons. And right. I, you know, it just seemed like that was the norm, you know, and meeting her and understanding how brilliant she is. And, you know, she went on to be a doctor. It made me start looking at that as something, okay, we can obtain this too this is not just something where you know only they win if you do what you got to do as an african-american and overcome the other barriers that they put in front of you on top of the standard barriers that everyone has to cross this is definitely something you can achieve so when i saw this story it just made me think about her it did make me think about your wife i remember you saying she went to princeton so i knew right. this would make you smile as well and we always have to remind people that for as much ridiculous stuff happens in the world, there are always good stories still happening, but they don't always get highlighted. And I wanted to make sure that we highlight this one. This brother is right. educated, he's in tech, and he wants people to know that we should be focusing on STEM because that's driving the future, literally. Right. And, and you know another really impressive black person who went to Princeton is? What's that? Michelle Obama. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mrs. Yep. O went to went to uh went to Princeton. That's right.